असम इट मीन्स अनपैरलड और प्योरलेस रिगार्डेड एज द सेंटिनल ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया 25% ऑफ इंडियाज फ्लोरिस्टिक वेल्थ इज फाउंड इन असम It is also home to several species of primates. And in this Eden forest cover lives a very unique species. A species that is considered our closest relative the western hulock gibbon the hulock gibbons are the only ape species in india and are found in the northeast of the country their populations are scattered across the rainforests of manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland and assam with assam being their last strongholds the hulok gibbon is distributed south bank of brahmaputra so it where the brahmaputra goes up to bangladesh so you only see on the south bank you won't see the north bank dilip chetri has been researching the hulok gibbons for 20 years and has worked on primates for 27 years they are our close neighbor you know 90% of genetic material similar to human beings that's why it's very special special for us to save the hulok gibbon A large number of the hulock gibbons are thriving in the Holungapar wildlife sanctuary due to its continuous connectivity of evergreen forests. They are natural seed dispersers and maintain the dynamic equilibrium of the rainforest ecosystem. they are monogamous you know only you will see a family one male one female and they have their own children only hardly they go for other female when the female is alive the hulock gibbons are also known as white browed gibbons they are tailless just like other apes males and females come in different colors but are usually of the same size They can live up to 35 years in the wild and 60 years in captivity. Their arms are longer than their legs, elongated and hook-shaped. They use their long arms to exhibit a specialized form of locomotion called brachiation to travel across the forest. Hulock gibbons are almost entirely arboreal and depend on continuous canopy for their movement. These graceful gibbons are the true specialists of the forest canopy. These fascinating apes are also known to sing elaborate songs. Each pair and their young ones live in exclusive territories which they defend by singing these songs. The recognizable duet calls are also believed to play a role in maintaining their bond. In Holungapar given wild life sanctuary you know the populace is gradually increasing there but it is fragmented. One of the biggest threats to critical wildlife habitats across the country is the expansion of linear infrastructure like railway lines and highways. They shrink habitats and isolate wildlife populations. This 1.6 km railway line that cuts through the Holungapar wildlife sanctuary dissects the sanctuary into two unequal parts. Since gibbons are arboreal, they find it increasingly hard to cross from one side to another, most times even risking their lives. This railway line has existed since the 1800s and is a critical route in Assam but the impact on wildlife cannot be ignored. 
There another thing in the Hulonga part is you know the tea gardens, the pesticide, the herbicide, the whole thing is comes to the inside uh, the sanctuary. Expansions of tea gardens have fragmented natural ecosystems across Assam, and habitat fragmentation has the biggest impact in dispersing of species. Once a lush continuous forest, Barikuri, a village in the Tinsukia district, is now home to hundreds of human beings, and about two dozen hulok gibbons also live here. The hulaks have a deep connection with Assamese culture finding place in their songs and folklore. And what makes them remarkable is that they have a thriving relationship with the village residents. The Barikuri Eco Development Committee is a local collective spearheaded by Diplog. They organize plantation drives to enhance the forest cover and canopy. While the committee has been doing their bit since its inception, several factors have led to a worrying situation. About 13 gibbons have died in just 17 years. In Barikure, it is said to me, you know, since the population is coming down, gradually the population of human beings is increasing. They are cutting their forest. Many tea gardens are coming up around the Barikuri. So the connectivity of one group to another group is less. Contiguous forests allow species to disperse widely for foraging and are crucial for species to avoid inbreeding. They, they really love the hulak gibbon. They are related to hulak gibbon. People give banana. The banana is not, not, I mean, natural. I think if you see in the wild, it hardly they, they get the banana. The disease from human beings may be transported to the gibbons, from one gibbons to other gibbon. From the gibbons, it can come to the human beings. So this is one of the risk factors. It is imperative to understand what these species are capable of and also understand their needs for survival. A collaborative approach in tackling such conservation issues is critical. Scientists and researchers could try to learn about local people's attitudes and how communities share spaces with the gibbons while formulating proper conservation plans here. The people are doing the conservation, you know. But I think we have to direct them in the right way. We are specialists. If they want our help, we will be ready. With threats like the expansion of linear infrastructure and forest fragmentation, the future of the Hulok Gibbon looks uncertain. At the same time, much remains to be known about the hidden lives of these fascinating apes. From the extent of their distribution to their behavior, we have just scratched the surface. Collaborative conservation action with local communities and conservationists is the need of the art if we are to save the Hula Gibbon and keep its call echoing through the forest canopies.